Hey everyone, um, this is game three of the trying Steam game demos that were, that are available for only two days after the, the game awards. Um, so this, this one is called Eastward. It looks like a top-down sort of RPG type of game. Um, I think the graphics look really neat. Uh, don't really know what it's about, but I pick a lot of games just based on them having cool graphics and sort of try to keep an open mind for everything else. So let's try to do that here and see see what there is for us. I think we're playing as this bearded man and we've got this girl with us. She looks cute. She's got like the what looks like a big oversized like sweater and really long hair. So there's no direction of any kind. It's just just plops you in, so let's just explore and talk to whoever we can. Hey lady. Oh, you got a baby. What a pretty little girl. Is... Are we Sasha talking about that baby? Or is that... The woman's name talking about our... Female companion. It's unclear to me, but maybe we'll find out soon. Got this robot here. Tetsuo. Dreamed of becoming an adventurer once. Guess these feet were made for dancing instead. Oh, I'm glad you found your purpose in life. this kind of chill funky music in this shop it's like it kind of reminds me of some of the music in fantasy star online which is an old game not everyone knows about but one of my favorites let's talk to this guy You saw that, huh? Another short circuit. It looked like your neck tube port thing got disconnected. To forgive me if I'm a little short with you two, you better not get short with me. I'll kick your ass. I'll kick anyone's ass. Okay, small ammo pack. Small bomb pack. Um, I don't know what, if anything, I'll need these for, so I'm not going to buy anything just yet. But it seems like this game has combat of some sort. Jimmy, according to her, this is the season of love. But, well, it's much too early for that. I don't know what you're talking about, guy. Got love on the brain. Trash can. Bud! Is this trash can my bud? Hey, bud. Be there, bud. It's you guys. We know this trash can. Well, we know this guy in the trash can. What do you want to know? Are you a known snitch, bud? Your honor. This bud is a known snitch. See that little Jizo statue in the red bib? No. Give it a poke, something good will happen. I will remember that. Maybe. Do you just give like undirected random hints? 
shop here. We got some kids crowded around what looks like a Dreamcast on this TV here, which I love. Right on the money. You guys playing demos here at this store? You can't say that ass word, kid. Who taught you that? Hey, Sam. I guess our... Who's Sam? Us? The man or the, the girl? Looks like this one kid is styling on the other kids. He's, he knows how to do the combos in fighting games, while the other kids are just button mashing and hoping that they win through those means. Okay, Sam is the, the girl that's with us. Apparently we're on a mission, so I can't play Dreamcast with you right now, but... What is the Rocket Knight Legion? You kids have been watching too much anime. Seriously. You guys been watching that Steel Samurai? Rocket Knights? Lady, oh kid, who's been teaching? You got like, you got a fedora wearing older brother or something? You, don't emulate him. We will come back and play Dreamcast later. Uh, these are good kids, I like them. Anyway, um, I was gonna say... Between the groups of kids, like, people who know how to play fighting games and do combos, and people who button mash, I'd say I'm much closer to the button mashing side. Um... Fighting games are so hard. Oh, looks like we got a... Stuff breaker. See the hair on that guy? Did you like his hair? Or was it just weird? Don't hair shame. Look at look at our hair. Look at our big ass beard and stuff. Okay, so we have uh, one of those lucky cat thingies. This looks like a convenience store. Are these capsule toy machines? It's a crime that I can't use them. Got a wise old lady here. Gives us nuggets of wisdom, I guess. Got like a workshop in the back here. I don't know why. Doesn't seem like we can do anything here. But I like the the sort of I like the the world building and the like the art style. Like it seems like a very charming little area. Feel something strange but warm. Did you pee your pants? Oh, max health increase. Nice. I think this is the statue our dumpster or trash can friend was telling us about. 
guy's pretty shifty looking. Benjamin. Not Benjamin, but Be Benjamin. Oh, you. Are you a detective or just a wannabe detective? I like this music out here too. So I would say, so far, this game has good music overall. Which is... I think that's important in a game, to have like, nice atmosphere and music. In some ways, it's as important as having good gameplay. Like, if you have good gameplay, but it's like, you don't have good music or charming graphics and just the feel of the world, then that'll put me off playing a game. Gameplay alone is not enough. But all aspects are important. We got, we got like a psychic meditating dude. Well, he's not meditating, he's talking to us, but it's pretty amazing that he can float and make objects float. Can I interact with this cute cat or dog? I think it's a cat. But it's kind of one of those androgynous animals that's like, is it, is it a dog? Is it a cat? Who knows? It's a cat dog. You guys all right here? Yeah, Cletus didn't know. Bean boy. <laughs> I had no idea there would be monsters. Oh, we got a boss irrationally angry at his employees. Typical small business owner. Don't be so hard on them. You're being an asshole. Brotherhood construction is unstoppable. Ain't no one can stop us. Well, I mean, he's got a point. Like, you don't want to run away like a little baby. You want to stay and fight, man. Oh, I guess our guy's name is John. So we got John the bearded man and Sam the little girl. Got attacked in the sawmill. Lost our equipment. Monsters? Sam, you're a bit too gung-ho about going into battle. Uh... Let's... Go, but not right this second. Not right this second, Sam. Um, I wanted to explore a little bit more and see if there's anything I... Just... Okay, I just hit the R button and I get a little menu, I guess. Change people's weapons. John has a frying pan as a weapon. I guess he can switch to a gun, or maybe that's Sam's gun. It's unclear at this point. We'll see later once we have a battle. Let's look at the uh, this part of town. Hey, wait, you here? I'm gonna scare this little fella off. Oh, the. So it's like a guy with a bird on his head and he doesn't want us to scare the bird. You love having bird head, don't you? I understand the bird love. I mean, I... I like birds... 
a bit, but, but not that much. Hey, watch your step. Don't step on my goods here. Steam pepper. Steam won't be sprayed. Pepper shell free. I, that doesn't mean anything to me. Come take a look. Mutton, fresh mutton. A uh, fish. Fish, fresh fish. You, you got sundries? Nope. What are sundries, anyway? I'll have to look it up at some point. I know it's like some kind of... For some reason, I think sundries means like spices. But who knows? Best fish head in town. Did I talk to this guy? Or does this guy sell the same stuff? I like that dragon game. Kitchen. Oh, I see. So you can buy the ingredients because you have cooking skills. And also a frying pan, which probably will get covered with the blood of your enemies, but then you cook dinner on it anyway. Guy's got like some ball chin going on here. What did we not hear from you? Thing unbelievable hidden deep in the dam. Okay. Okay. What'd I do for a dip in them hot springs? Ain't even got the cash for the train ticket. That's rough, buddy. Huh? Guy has bentos. Not very tasty. That's... That's rude. Lash is doing his best making bentos. And then you're just like, just because you know how to cook at home, you're like, Oh, well, nothing's as good as the stuff you make at home. Don't remember there being a jizzo here. Jizzo. Okay. We got to talk to these statues every time. Last time, we, we were blessed with extra health. Huh? Max health again? See, these guys increase our survivability. The statues are our friend. Got a painter here. What did you found? What is the totem? The, the gate? Is that what the camera was panning up to? Uh, it looks like he's painting the gate. He loves the gate. Got this fisherman. Hey. This my fish place. That's cool. He just gave us lunch. Buy an... Oh, it was, uh, this lunch was in the water. That's why he didn't want it. Only this doo doo on the pole. <laughs> this is 
the interesting guy. I don't know how to feel about his way of speaking. Um, but he gave us some food of dubious origin, so I can't... He can't be all bad. Alright, let's go help these guys fight their way through the mines and get their equipment back. Let's go. I don't know if I should have bought items or something, but we're, we'll do it live. It's just a demo. How hard could they have made it? Lawyer roll, Sam. Alright, what are you, some kind of philosopher? All right, Isaac Newton. <laughs> but why? Is the power strike going to make Oh, that explains the, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Don't run off, Sam. I need you. I need your good sense, because I'm going to get up to some dumb stuff without you. She go. I'm just finding heart containers all over the place. Pretty soon I'm gonna be unkillable. Okay. I see it's like in this game you're you battle in the overworld. Which, I guess, would have been a logical assumption to have made from the beginning. Get out of here. I wish Sam hadn't run off. I miss her already. Cut that out. Also, I wanted to explore the area near that lumberjack guy some more, but then, like, I went down here and it turned out to be what is probably the correct way. So I didn't get to go back because Sam ran away. Oh, looks like a puzzle, maybe. I gotta. Move this out of the way, then go down. Pretty easy beginning of game type puzzle. Oh, I can switch between them. That's that makes for, I guess, some more. Interesting gameplay. Oh, she's got like an energy meter for her attacks. And these plants grow back. Okay, I cannot break these. Seems. Can you? Get there. So he's kind of 
Well, how does she get over there? Do I have to go back for her? Well, I can't. Okay. So maybe I was supposed to go down that way. Not very powerful on your own, are you? <sighs> also, her gun takes forever to recharge. I mean, I'm liking the sort of general combat so far. Just my only gripe is this girl's gun and how the energy charge of it works. So that makes it harder to sort of Lore or solve this puzzle while I'm waiting for the gun to recharge. Um, I want to try using a bomb because it says I have 15 bombs, but I don't know how. Good. You move away. Now we'll bomb. Yeah. Maybe only John can bomb. He doesn't trust Sam with explosives for good reason. I say for good reason. Uh, maybe she's responsible. Right. I need you to. Took too long. Took too long, now the plant's back. Alright, we're doing this! Oh, I can group them again. Good to know. idea how we're gonna get back but that's a problem for future us just breaking things just to be a jerk can I interact no Maybe I can break that. Maybe I can bomb that. It's done it. I played a few video games in my time. Ooh! Free bombs! Nice. I don't think I can go back. Only way to go is forward. What's the deal with these? Oh, they're breakable. Oh. Get. You 
you little jerk. Alright, we got a two-person puzzle here. You wait here. I'll go. Well, what's the point of that? Oh, okay. I think I got it. Wait, I can't... I thought, okay, that is what I needed to do. Okay, now you come back here, and then we will ride this secondary boat to wherever the future is. Okay, I think I- it's like a timing thing. I need to smack us, switch to her, and shoot it. Not too hard, just need to think about it a little bit. Okay, shouldn't have shot that one, because I need to hit it to smack us into the next area. Alright, I think we're sort of starting to get the hang of what this game is all about. Which, you know, a lot of games have a period like that where you're learning the ropes. And that's just how it goes. I think this game has a pretty reasonable learning curve so far. Definitely forces you to switch between the characters, so it's like it kind of feels like a tutorial of getting you used to doing that. And then I think eventually it'll be like the combat will basically force you to be good at that. But who knows? This is just a demo. I'm sure they won't make it too hard. Okay, this just takes me back. Have I been here before? Get out, get out of here. Seems like a lot of these enemies respawn. Well, some of them respawn. It's a good thing I had those extra hearts that I got from the statues, because I'm pretty sure I'd be very close to dead if not dead. Them. Maybe it's time to learn to eat bento. Uh, we... Okay, that should hold us over for now. Maybe I need to not rush in and just try to whack things and play a little more conservatively to preserve my health. I don't want to have to go all the way back to the town and 
like by hell. It seems like some of the enemies drop parts, perhaps. Like maybe some drop hearts, some drop money. So I wonder if you can farm them for health if you absolutely have to. Nice, finding the heart container refills your health. Alright, let us proceed. We haven't even gotten to the sawmill with all the monsters yet. This is just like... Pre-sawmill. I wonder if the demo... How long is this? Seems like it's a pretty substantial demo, longer than the ones we've done so far. I wonder if it'll just stop when we get to the sawmill and the demo is the friends we made along the way. Oh, we save it a fridge. Oh, we can't because it's a demo probably. Got the little ruins of a house with the little squid poster. We can make food if we have ingredients. But I, I bet carrots and lettuce are not enough. Can't have a meal without protein. Well, since we can't save, probably can't cook. Let's just go. Underneath the waterfall, there's always good secrets. Place they mentioned. It's, it was so far away. Well, I mean, like, reasonably far away. Oh, I bet the demo ends after this boss. Who's absolutely gonna kick my butt because there's no way. I'm not that good at, at this combat. <laughs> oh, shouldn't have got those healths. I'll need them later. This is kind of stressful, I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm gonna just try to juke him, get a few wax in, run away. The guy moves kind of slow, so it's like, your timing has to be pretty good if you don't want to get hit. Well, that's how you lose at the... <laughs> at this game. Let's... Try again though. Hopefully it just brings us back to the boss. Yeah. Okay, good. Alright. <clears throat> Let's try this one more time. This time we will win. And uh, I should not forget that there's a few health canisters in the arena. Yo, 
always shoots twice. I should remember that. After he shoots, that seems like a good window, usually. Okay. Not... Not if you're bad like me, but... Four bops in there that time. That was good. Oh, we've done it barely. That was actually like kind of kind of challenging in a way. Like it wasn't super hard, but it was like you got to have pretty good timing and reaction. You have to explore the tunnel. Yep. Yeah, I figured that would be the end of the demo. I like this. I think the gameplay's pretty good. I like the the art and the environments. It seems pretty charming and and good. I would definitely play this as a full game. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed checking it out. I certainly did, and see you next time.